and welcome to the series that takes you off the beaten track and into the world of England's hidden gems as suggested by you. Today I'm in the Peak District. Coming up on today's show I'll be visiting the filming locations for some of cinema's most iconic shots, taking a cable car to one of the oldest tourist attractions in England and soaking up some of the most spectacular views England has to offer. Now, so far in this series, I like to think that I've stepped up to the challenges presented to me by the users of the Enjoy England website. So I've descended into a sewer in Brighton and power ascended above the River Humber. But today is an altogether different proposition. I am going to climb this cliff face. It looks tough but expert climber David assures me it's suitable for novices like myself. Ah, oh, Keeley of Burton on Trent, this is your fault. You recommended climbing on one of the many crags in the Peak District, like this one, Lawrence Field. And the, I don't think I'll mention my mortal fear of heights. <sighs> <sighs> Right, at the moment I'm sliding back there. Besides confronting my demons and getting scared witless, there is actually another point to climbing this crag. William Smythe got in touch to recommend a superb vantage point at the top, if I ever get there. Yeah, that's the one. I really can't believe I've just done that. See, it's unbelievable. Someone so terrified of heights could be persuaded and cajoled by David here to do that. But look at this view. Apparently, Queen Victoria came to these parts and uh, rounded a corner, saw this and said, what a surprise. And to this day, it's known as Surprise View. Time for something a bit less energetic. Thankfully, my next hidden gem is taking me to the tranquil village of Hathersage. I'm surrounded by nature, but some of England's biggest cities are almost on the doorstep. Amanda Borley and her husband often come here above the village of Hathersage for a walk to Stanage Edge. I'm joined on the walk by Bill Gordon who's the estate manager of the Stanage and North Lees estate. Our first stop, North Lees Hall. Wow, Bill, very impressive building. What's the history? Well, it's Elizabethan and it was built in 1595 and was in the Eyre family for a bit of the time. That's a familiar name. It is a very familiar name and was used by Charlotte Bronte and uh, when she visited Hathersage, she used the local names um, for when she started to write the book uh, Jane Eyre. And I understand it's something of a film location. It is. It's been used by uh, the other Berlin girl, which starred Scarlett Johansson and Natalie Portman. It turns out that North Lees Hall isn't the only famous filming location in the region. Further along the walk at Stanage Edge, Bill takes me to the site of an iconic shot from the Pride and Prejudice film with Kira Knightley. Wow, Bill, this is amazing. I'm thinking Kira Knightley, Pride and Prejudice, and that iconic scene. Well, this was the shot when Lizzie Bennet came from this very tightly controlled society, and this is her first view of Derbyshire. So why do filmmakers love Derbyshire and the Peak District so much? They love it because it hasn't got any of the 21st century paraphernalia. It's almost as if you're back in Georgian times. I must say, it's a little bit blowy. Well, that was the funny thing about that particular shot, is that they had to bungee Kieran down because they couldn't <laughs> afford to lose an actress. It would have cost them too much money. So she was roped on and then airbrushed out afterwards. Oh, uh. <laughs> After the walk to Stanage Edge, Amanda Borley and her husband like to wander around the town of Matlock Bath. And that's where I'm heading for now.
Matlock Bath is a place full of different experiences, like this dramatic cable car run to the Heights of Abraham. The Heights of Abraham is one of the oldest tourist attractions in England. It first opened its gates to the public in 1780. It has a great mix of things to see and do, such as this incredible cavern carved out three centuries ago by the lead miners. Or you can explore the beautiful woodland that's draped on the hillside. And of course, there's an amazing view. To round off their day, Amanda and her husband like nothing better than some fish and chips from the local chippy. And sharing them with the bikers who congregate here every weekend. Have a chip. So of all the places you could ride your bikes to, why would you choose Matlock Bath? It's where all the bikers come and meet and come to look at each other's bikes, talk to other bikers, have fun, and it's a nice place to come to talk about what we like to do. It's fish and chips, bikes, can't get them. Any chance of going for a quick spin? Yeah, that's very nice of you. Can't wait. Mm. Keep sending us your hidden gems by clicking on the visitor tips and photo section of the Enjoy England website. If you'd like to know more about the Peak District, try visitpeakdistrict.com.